Hey Reddit, what's the farthest you've ever had to walk on foot? What's the story? I once walked 12 miles along the coast, from the town we were staying into a little village. When we got there the village consisted of a singular cafe, some toilets and a beach. Apparently there were some houses about half a mile inland but that was it. The beach was really nice so we chilled out for a bit then my dad went to the cafe to see about ordering a taxi. The lady laughed. Literally laughed at us. See, there were two things we forgot to consider. One was the rural location. There was no local taxi firm so we would have to get one from the town which would cost a fortune if they even agreed to come. The other factor was it was bank holiday Monday, a UK holiday where pretty much everything closes, so the fare would have been even more extortionate. We walked back, 24 miles in a pair of skate shoes with holes in the sole. I still remember the feeling of walking up the stairs in our holiday cottage on threadbare carpet. Every step was agony. I was only 10 and I learnt two things a day. Number 1 lesson. Parents can make mistakes. Number 2. When dad says put your walking boots on. Put your dang walking boots on. Got hit by a car once while on my bicycle. Bastard bend my front wheel 90 degrees. Phone was smashed to bits. There was glass in my leg from my phone screen and the butthole drove away. Had to carry the bike back home for 9 kilometers or so. Everything hurt the next morning. Had to 24 miles in one go for military training. Decided to. I backpacked just over 160 miles over the course of 13 days because I needed some alone time. Rad. I added had to to imply having no alternative. And military training makes sense. Thanks. Just mere 10 kilometers or so, but they sucked, was uphill, had to push my bike, it was 8pm and neither a bus or a taxi drove, nobody wanted to take a hitchhiker and I couldn't leave my bike back because I needed it the next day, all that during a snowy wet winter, I got home, throw my wet clothes into the basket, took a shower and fell asleep as soon as I got into the bed, man I had to do that for like 7 kilometers in a snowstorm. I gotta say if you can handle the cold and wet I'd much rather snow than just a bland grey day. It made for some pretty scenery. 17 miles home from school after dark after getting a detention. I tried hitchhiking. But nobody in their right mind would pick up a hitchhiking teenager. There was no late bus to my outlying town. My parents had an order with the school that any detention was to be served before school. As my bus arrived an hour early, one teacher insisted that his before school hour was for extra help students only. Dad was in jail, mom was away on business, and I was threatened with suspension if I didn't show for detention. A suspension would have cut into finals week, and I would have had to redo my entire senior year. What kind of school not let go of detention in finals week? Stupid school and stupid teacher. This past summer rode my bike 20 miles. Ran over a piece of glass and got a flat. Cell phone was dead. Walked back 20 miles bike in hand. Yep, you got the grit. I didn't really have to, but I once walked the outer circle of the central Yamanote train line in Tokyo to set a personal record on step counting. I walked 31.7 miles. 51 km. I wasn't really racing or anything, so it took me around 12 or 13 hours. Needless to say, I've never beaten or attempted to beat that record again. I'm a fairly healthy person, but with no special training, I was absolutely sore for a week. I did almost the same distance and time too to set a step count record. 30 miles over 12 hours, coast to coast on the island I live on. Now I'm training to run a marathon and it still blows my mind that I plan to run a distance very close to the furthest distance that I have walked. I walked 500 miles a few months ago around the 5 year anniversary of learning to walk again. I guess I didn't have to do that but I felt like I did. As far as being stuck somewhere is concerned, I've walked 10 to 15 miles on foot in my younger years when getting stuck on the wrong side of the city on multiple occasions. Had to. 15 miles from Brussels to McHelen. I visited a friend in Brussels and I had thought she was going to put me up for the night. She didn't and I had nowhere to stay. I lived in Amsterdam at the time. It was evening so too late to hitchhike. So I started walking north until the morning and started hitchhiking when the sun was up. It was actually a nice walk in the countryside and saw some cool random art on the way. What a crappy friend. 
So compared to some of these distances it wasn't actually that long, but given the circumstances it felt like an absolute eternity. This was around midnight near the start of the pandemic. I noticed one of my pet rats, who had been fighting with respiratory infections was acting extremely lethargic and seemed like she was having real trouble breathing. I called the emergency vet, and they told me I could bring her in. The vet was about 4 miles away, and I don't have a car, so I called an Uber to take us there. I handed over my rat and was unable to go inside because of COVID, so I waited outside the office for the doctor to call me and tell me what was going on. Her urea had taken a turn for the worse and the vet said they could stabilize her and give her oxygen, but she wasn't taking to any of the medications she was on, and he told me this would likely be an ongoing problem. I ended up making a very tough decision and having her euthanized because he told me it was likely she was uncomfortable and would continue to be. They gave me her body back in a little box, and I tried to call an Uber to take me home. It was about 1am now, and lo and behold, Uber told me there was not a single driver in my area. I had a dead rat in a box, was uncontrollably crying, mascara smeared down my face, and evidently was not going to be receiving a ride. So I started walking. I only passed one person and he started to cat call me until I got closer and he saw the tears and the makeup mess all over my face. I told him to frick off and kept walking. And he just said dang girl and continued on home. I got back home about 2 in the morning, dead little buddy in hand. And that still goes down as one of my least favorite nights. I'm not sure if upvoting is the right reaction to reading this, but please know I took a moment for you and your little lady. I didn't have to, but as part of earning the German military proficiency badge, you have to the 19th of March miles in 4 hours if you want the gold badge. I made it 15 miles and math told me I wasn't going to make it by the 4 hour deadline. I threw in the towel and tried again a week later. I did 12 miles for bronze. I did this, and got the biggest blisters of my life on both heels. Made it in time, though. Ironically, I overslept on the day they were doing the rifle qualification and didn't even get the badge. Stayed at my ex-girlfriend's house a few years ago. It snowed overnight and the trains were all cancelled. Buses weren't running and a taxi would of cost too much. I had to walk home 14 miles in the snow. 14 miles isn't too far but in the snow it was absolutely killer. IDK if it's the farthest, but just happened to me yesterday and the circumstances were frustrating. My usual habit is to walk to work. It's just under 5 miles, so a hike but nothing overly crazy. Nice way to work and some exercise and head clearing time. Only yesterday, idiot that I am, I realized after getting home that I left my keys at work. So I had to walk all the way back, get the keys, then head all the way back home again. Not my best hour. 500 miles of Camino de Santiago. It was partially on a dare after finishing the university and partially a planned trek we wanted to do for years. I walked from Maine to Georgia on the Appalachian Trail. Took about 5 months to cover 2100 miles. I didn't have to do it, it was a choice. Good going. It's love to do the Appalachian Trail, but I'm in the UK so it'd be a heck of an undertaking just to have enough money in my bank account to convince them to allow me in for that period of time. Sprained my ankle at mile 05 of a marathon and was too stupid to quit. Walk 25.7 miles to complete it. Still have issues with my foot. 17 years later. Walked about 12 miles while on the trailing end of an LSD trip once. What an adventure. I left my car downtown and we had a designated driver for the night. I can never sleep on the stuff. So I decided to just get up and walk from our app to my car. It was like 3am when I set out. I got to watch the sunrise and got about a 2 mile lift in the back of a pickup with some construction workers that did not speak English. This was before cell phones. So I left my roomie a note. I was back in time for breakfast. I was 13 and I had to walk roughly 8-10 miles. It was on Thanksgiving and I had gone to Walmart with my mom to get some stuff. On our way to the car we had an argument and she threatened to leave me there, but I didn't believe her. I called her bluff and she got pee so she loaded up the car, locked me out, and drove off. I started walking and I cried on the way home cause I couldn't believe my mom would do that. When I finally got home she scoffed at me and said it took me long enough. 
Believe it or not, this isn't even the shittiest thing she's done to me. Needless to say I'm 25 now and I live 25 miles away from her and talk to her once every 2-3 weeks. Life is good. If I were you I'd probably make that every 2-3 months. A 13 YO should definitely not be forced to walk around 9 miles simply because an adult couldn't be the bigger person. 2185.3 miles, Georgia to Maine along the Appalachian Trail. It took 153 days and I lost 40 pounds, and a few toenails, in the process. Longest single day, 37 miles. CT hiker here, who is doing the CDT next summer. I too lost a toenail and weight. Hike on Maine. I used to manage a paint blending plant for a large company. It was small, but still walked in circles at least 5 miles a day. 3 miles per hour x 7 hours equals 21. Time to check on the batches. I have a prosthetic leg. Goat boy left me at the Woodstock reunion. I had to walk from the site to the campground. In the dark. Hoping I'm going the right way. That was probably 10 miles. Hitchhiked out to the, the woods to my friends about 20 miles away when I was a kid 14-15. Then I could not get a ride home. Then nobody would pick me up thumbing. After about 15 miles of walking. Here come my buds. On a beer run. It was blazing hot, according to Google Fit we walked 25,000 steps, we just had to keep going though, so tired, was carrying the kids by the end, but you need to make the most of your time at Disneyland. Hard to say how far it was exactly, but probably around 10 miles, I had to take my car into the shop and was too stubborn to ask my girlfriend at the time's grandmother for assistance. In the army, had to do a 25 miler. In civilian life, I've taken hiking holidays where I covered quite a few miles over the course of a week. I did this in Iceland and Scotland, mainly. Not me, but my dad decided to walk the Camino in his 70s many times. The longest he walked was around a thousand kilometers. I don't know what the longest I have walked is. Spent a lot of my childhood hiking with my family in Greece and in Greenland etc. I have walked a lot. When I got my smartphone some years ago it told me a few times that I had walked 22 kilometers some days. I was just checking out the area where I live and listening to true crime podcasts and crappy romance audiobooks. A 12 year old girl covered a distance of 150 kms to get from the town she was living with her parents back to their native village. This was during the lockdown where all the transportation services in trail states were closed. Unfortunately she died before making it home. Had to walk a long town over, passing fields and freeways when I was in middle school because my stepmom decided to drive my bully home instead of me, cause I refused to get in the car. I guess I didn't have to bit at the time, it definitely felt like a necessity. When I was in my early teens, I started to recognize the fact that my family had some issues. My parents ended up getting divorced when I was 17. One night when I was 13, the arguing got so bad that I just had to get out of the house. So I spent several hours wandering 13 miles around town in the dark of night just to get out of the house until people calmed down a bit. I was about 13-14 and I was finally given that little student metro card. But it was such a nice day I walked from my school to my house with was about 1.5 miles all by myself. Of course as an adult now I walk twice that on average outings before COVID. But that time stuck out to me the most cause of my age at the time. Probably roughly 10 miles. Think I was in middle school. Had to stay after with a friend for some reason. Friend's mom was coming to pick us up. Person in the office inexplicably told us she had already shown up and just randomly left. Can't really fathom the logic. So we had to walk back to his house, which was roughly 10 miles away. Friend's mom shows up at the house about 5 minutes afterwards. Understandably pee at the receptionist. I guess maybe she had called to say she was running late, and the receptionist misunderstood or something. Good times. Last year we were hiking. We started to walk at 8am and we reached the place we were camping at 5.30pm. I don't remember how far it was but it was quite far. The longest I've had to do was about 15 miles because of a flat bike tire. The longest I've done willingly is a bit more impressive. Over the course of 3 weeks I hitchhiked between Oklahoma and Georgia. 1000 total miles. 
and when I wasn't riding in a stranger's car I was walking. People give more rides to people in the middle of nowhere than on the edge of town. In total, I walked about 300 of those miles. My feet were so sore when I was done. When I was about 17 I was at a friend's party, left to go to the train station about midnight, about a 6 km walk, with about a dozen peace stops, missed the last train, decided to walk home, another 20 km, got home in the morning, sober and very tired. I was drugged at a concert one time and came to behind my old high school without my watch, shoes, the money in my wallet phone, or my Oakley sunglasses. I was luckily a distance runner and had decent cardio and was able to run the 5 miles to my house, barefoot at 4am. A terrifying night to think what could have happened. 15 kilometers, a little over 9 miles. It was the only section of the Queen Charlotte track that you could do in a single day by taking a taxi boat from and back to Picton, New Zealand. I really enjoyed the walk even though it was a bit long for my very untrained legs. Beautiful views, saw native birds and deafening cicadas along the way. Prior to that was 13 kilometers, 8 miles. 15 years earlier because public transportation was on strike in Paris and I decided to go home on foot instead of waiting for an overcrowded train who knows how long. It was a beautiful day and a nice walk along the York Canal. Not the farthest but definitely the worst. South of Spain in the mountains behind the beautiful village of Frigiliana. Was supposed to be 3 hours. But it was a dead end so we had to walk all the way back for another 3 hours. In extreme heat without enough water. Up and down big hills or smaller mountains. However, the scenery was beautiful. And when we reached the town. I've never drank water so quickly in my entire life. Seems you were walking south of Spain without the S. I had to do this thing for school called the New Norcia Walk, and unfortunately for me and my classmates, we live in Australia. Since it was nearing Christmas, the days were getting hotter and that didn't help us. Our water was too hot to be refreshing and we walked 28 kilometers to this monastery where we camped for the night, and at night things don't get cooler unfortunately for us. On the last and hardest 5 kilometers, my water bottle broke and so I had to march all that distance without any water. 12 miles. I was going to a job interview and was using Google Maps but typed the address wrong so ended up walking to the wrong place then had to make up for it by walking the right way lol. Didn't get the job either. 26 miles. I was one of the first teams into a fresh search and rescue mission. My partner and I had our phones and radios die part way through. So our 2 miles in, 2 miles out turned into walk west until you find the original location. That made up 20 of the miles due to getting turned around a couple of times. The last 6 was from my second foray into the search. By then another team member and I were leading a group of volunteers through the other set of woods. 96 miles. Philmont Scout Ranch NM over 14 days. Longest single day I've ever done on a separate occurrence was the 10 mile Travis. Which is hiking the entire 10 mile mountain range in Frisco Breckenridge CO. 35 miles and over 10,000 feet of elevation change. Approximately 50 miles, 80 km, in one day, or 15 and half hours or so to be exact. It's something we do here and quite a lot of people actually join every year. I walked 28 miles in a one day hike on the south coast of England. 100 miles per hour winds and plenty or slippery rocks but I was there by choice and had plenty of fun. I went to see my therapist and forgot to bring money for the trip back. I chose to walk the whole way home instead of asking for an Uber and paying with the money I had back home. I walked a total of 12 kilometers, all in rubber flip flops. I had my cell phone and earphones, so I could do it all day. Odd how your question says had to, but the majority of the comments are about voluntarily walking. Or maybe not that odd. People do love to brag about their accomplishments. As for the longest distance I ever had to, I couldn't say exactly as I was drunk at the time and it was many years ago but was probably around 12 miles or so. By pure accident drunk and stupidity. The story is this. I went to a friend's wedding and the reception was held in a restaurant bar only a mile or so from my home. The fact it was so close was awesome as that's an easy walk home after the festivities, even for a drunk person. And the route was so simple, even drunk me could manage it. All I had to do was leave, turn left, 
then take the second right, walk to the end of the road and my street was right there. However, drunk me didn't realize he'd walked out of the restaurant by the side door instead of the main door and therefore was on the wrong street. So I turned left, went down the road, and took the second right, and kept on walking. And suddenly there were fields on the side of the road, which is weird as there are no fields in the urban area I lived in, that the pub was on the edge of, but I kept on walking, to an industrial estate, which is weird as there are is no such industrial area in the urban area I lived in, that the pub was on the edge of, eventually I got to the end of the road, but it wasn't my road, I looked around, walked down one way, then another, until eventually I recognized the road I was on. It was the road that led to the next town to the east of where I lived. I was now many miles from home. This was back in the days when we didn't all have cell phones in our pockets. There was no payphone anywhere nearby that I could recall. And even if there was it was somewhere around 4am so the chances of my getting a taxi would have been close to zero. So I had no option but to walk back. Fortunately by this time I was sober enough to make my way home without any further detours. Longest distance I've walked in 24h is 80 kilometers, about 50 miles. It was a military exercise. What made this worse is that I had to carry the backpack and anti-tank mines. 10kg each of a female conscripts who didn't have the sten hit to carry them herself. I've walked further distances but this is the longest distances walked in a day. 16 kilometers on a class trip to Hamburg. We did some ship tour also in the morning where we walked like an hour to get there. Then we had like 2 spare hours so we went back to the subway near our hotel and got lunch. Then we walked back to there to go to the next activity. I think it was Manata Wonderland. After this we walked back to the hotel again haha. <laughs> TL. DR. Below. Me and my friends were hanging out. I've stayed the night at their places often before. And when we're done hanging out I plan to go with two of my friends to their place. Unfortunately our phones were dead and we weren't exactly sure how to get to the address, but no problem right, they'll be able to tell by the surroundings. We see Emmy across a convenience store and ask for directions. Once we were pointed the right way, after quite a while of walking, and being somewhat lost, we got to the supposed destination to find that it's not the right building, and apparently the address my friend remembered was off by a small detail that ultimately put it very far away from where we were since they'd only moved there recently. By the time we've understood it's the wrong address, it's so late the trains have stopped running, so we had no proper form of transportation. But we waited it out at some park and get going as soon as the train started up to go to the other friend's place, where they've been for a while and all of us know where it is, so we can't exactly get lost. But we ended up having to walk a pretty long distance but we made it. Our legs and feet were sore for at least a few days. We must have walked at least 15-20 miles is my guess, but that's just a guesstimate and we could have walked potentially much farther. TL. DR. Friends and I are headed to their home. They only just moved in so they get the address wrong. Our other friends place is closer and we know for sure where it is, so we walk a long distance and get there. Guesstimate 15-20 miles total. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.